Hi, welcome to my channel, White Raven's Cauldron. This evening I'm reading for the lovely Cancer. So this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with a Cancer or you have it somewhere in your chart. Remember, time is fluid, so there could be something here from the past. And this is going to be for October 31st. So there may be some skeletons creeping out from the past, but we'll have a look. Um, quickly, I'd just like to say, from now until October 31st, the star sign video get, that gets the most views, I'm going to be picking a person at random to have a free 30 minute reading from thyself um, to enlighten you on whatever it is that you need enlightening on or just bringing you some positive news, helping you move forward, you know, all that good shit. I care, so I swear in my videos, sorry, it's a bad habit. Archangel Michael hates me doing it, but he still stands by my side because he thinks it's fucking hilarious. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, free giveaway. So all you've got to do is jump up in that comment section. Tell me that you've shared, subscribed, you've liked, and you've left a little comment. And you will be in the draw. Now remember, to get those videos up with the most views, you have got a view. Now you can either view it a million times yourself, or you can share it and get other people to view it. Don't really matter to me, just the ones with the most views, I'll be picking a person at random and you will be getting your treat of the year. So that's enough of my fucking rambling, let's get straight into your reading because that's what you came for. What is coming towards Cancer please? October 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I just saw the Nine of Coins, so bitch you are owning your money, you are on the money, You, if you're not on it yet you're about to be, it could be a new job. A new work prospect could even be going self-employed. Either way, there is some fucking. You are going to be self-reliant, Cancer. There's no doubt about that. Okay, what is coming towards Cancer? One more shuffle, says Archangel Michael. One more shuffle. Okay, split the deck. It's telling me to split the deck. Okay, what is then? What is coming towards Cancer, please, Archangel Michael? What is coming towards Cancer? telling me to pipe down, I can't pipe down, I can't, I'm not doing my reads, I can't do it, I've got to keep my energy up because that's when the best readings come through, ooh, five of swords, right, okay, go grab yourself a drink and get a smoke if you smoke because shit's going to get real cancer and I hope you're ready for it, maybe pause the video, compose yourself, do whatever you need to do, so, there's a couple of things here that I want to say, First of all, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. So there's a lot of humiliation with this card. Somebody feels humiliated, let down. I feel like somebody's got the upper hand over them. Nobody's got the upper hand here, Cancer. So get that out of your head. Okay? Don't think like that. If you've been crying, don't cry. Don't get yourself upset. Especially over someone like this. But secondly to this... There's someone also missing not fighting enough for you. Somebody's regretting not fighting hard enough. They feel like they've got out scot-free, but now they're thinking about you. They've ca they're carrying all these swords of thought. This guy carries the sword of thought, and this one was the one that caused the pain. But he's got these emotional swords. He's thinking, what have I done? Why did I do this? Why did I act that way? So... Let's jump further into the reading. Give some. Uh, what's the strength regarding this for Cancer? What's the strength? But this is you getting through it. Either way, you'll get through it. Strength for Cancer, please. Strength for Cancer. There we go. Four of Cups reversed. Ah. Oh. Right, okay, so this is this is very, very emotional. Very emotional. There's a lot of upset here. A lot of upset. There's also a lot of self-pity and self-indulgence or depression. Depression over what's happened to you. Could be dealing with a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very upset. Somebody's feeling very ashamed as well of their behaviour. And I mean, so the fucking should if they've done a cancer wrong. Jesus, you're one of the most empathetic, you know, emotional people in, in the Zodiac. You guys fucking care. What's the weakness, please? I'm going to clarify, so don't worry. What's the weakness for cancer? Oh. Damn it. 
we all know what this guy is, don't we? Hmm. Bless you. Fucking heartbreak, scum. Sorry, shut up. So someone's been very, very, very deceptive and they thought they were fucking clever getting away with it, weren't they, eh? They thought they were top dog. Oh, they thought they had... This is someone... This is you realising another bee has been in your honey, I think. Very worried, very concerned, very upset. Deep, deep betrayal. This could have happened more than once for some of you as well. Fucking bastard. Oh my goodness me. Don't you dare cry over this though. They don't deserve your tears. Your tears are magical. And you don't waste your magic on shit like this. They don't deserve that. You know, you give your heart to someone and they break it, you certainly don't give them it back when you've put it back together. You don't do that shit. Because this is why you're feeling humiliated. This is why. They have done everything that they promised they wouldn't do. Get some advice for cancer, please. Advice for cancer. You definitely need to speak to someone though if you're struggling. Don't be ashamed. Even if you've, you know, you promised yourself you wouldn't get back with this person or you wouldn't let them do it again. And now you feel too ashamed to speak about it that they've done it again. Don't. Because you're a fucking human being. You're allowed to feel. You're allowed to have emotions. Doesn't matter how many times it takes for you to walk away from someone. This is your journey, not theirs. So don't you dare feel ashamed or embarrassed or depressed because it wasn't you. So for advice, we've got the seven of wands. So this is telling me you, you need to protect yourself. You need to guard. You need to be aware. You need to protect what's yours now, Cancer. You've got a lot of inner work, inner healing that needs doing. You've also got guardian protection. Angels are protecting you right now. They're fighting on your behalf. Don't fight against it. You've got to go with it. And I know heartbreak fucking sucks. Like you can't eat, you can't sleep. You have that constant pain or weird feeling in your belly and your heart. And every time a song comes on, it makes you want to cry. You know, you just have... It's like you have more emotions been away from them. But then when you was with them, they made you feel numb. Like, it's like you can't escape the pain. What's the f Five of Swords for Cancer, please? That's too many. Five of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer, please. The star reversed. It was a hopeless situation in the beginning. There is no hope here. There's no renewal. There's no fake promises. Someone's not. They're just making fake promises. They're, it's just bullshit. This person doesn't deserve your time, your energy, your love, certainly. You're too pure for them. And that's why they're attracted to you. Because you are full of everything that they lack. They're like a fucking moth to the flame. You're the star of the show. But yet they're stealing your shine, Cancer. Someone is stealing your shine. You're a fucking star. You should be up there shining bright. That's your job. But someone is overshadowing you again, Aquarius. It's the Four of Cups reversed for Cancer, please. Clarify the Four of Cups reversed for Cancer, please, Archangel Michael. I'm really feeling it in my energy now, like... You have got no energy at all. You're just... Gosh. Four of Cups reversed for Cancer. What's the Four of Cups reversed? The Queen of Coins and the Prince of Cups reversed. Yeah, this person is... They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to flourish. You're the fucking Queen of Coins, Cancer. You're a queen or you're a king. You're royalty. You need to be treated like royalty. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You smell good. You like nice things. You like a nice home. You're fucking straight in your crown. That's what you need to fucking do. You need to get up and get in the energy that you are. Because someone's been nasty. They've been jealous. They've been possessive. They're on a smear campaign against you. They've kept you away from goodness. 
They've kept you out the limelight to themselves. Like Rapunzel's mother, Gothel. Kept you locked in a tower. Because you're so beautiful and so pure. They don't want anybody else to steal you. Because you are very easily stealable from them right now. Because they're scum. This is somebody who doesn't want you to know your own self-worth. Clarify the three swords for cancer. Clarify the three swords, please, for cancer, Archangel Michael. Six of coins first. This was a one-sided situation. One-sided you were just giving, 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 and they were just taking. They were reaping all the fucking benefits. This could be theft or feeling cheated or being swindled. You've definitely been taken advantage of, and you know it. And I am so fucking sorry that you have. Honestly, I am. If, if I could send bad karma the fucking way through this video, I'm doing it right now. What's the seven of wands for cancer, please? This was just Princess of Swords reversed, yeah, nasty. You are defending yourself against a very, very malicious, nasty person. Could be another female involved as well. Could be an ex of some sort. Extremely jealous of you. They're, 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 they make up lies, they spread rumours, gossip, cold-hearted, callous. Final outcome for cancer, please. Again, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Final outcome, right, that's too many cards. One more for final outcome, please, for Cancer. One more. Got to make a decision, Cancer. It's decision time. You've got to do what's right for you. And if you don't do it, the universe is going to do it for you. Anyhow, but it'll be more painful. Sometimes you've just got to fuck off with the clothes you've got on your back and start again. No contact. Go, no contact. Shit. Right, that hermit's out again, so I'm going to take it. So if you, you need to go quiet, you need to go in hiding, you need to seek the answers, Cancer, because only you know how. You, if for you to ask a question, you already know the answer to it. This reading, you know the person that this is about, the first person that comes into your head that this reading's about, it's them. You're not fucking wrong. And you just bless you, you're so torn, you don't know what to do, you really don't. This queen's here to remind you, as soon as you get out, you become a fucking queen or king. You own your own empire, your own kingdom. You are everything to yourself. Let's get a wisdom of the night, please, for cancer. Wisdom of the night for cancer. But you get answers, you do. You go within to seek the answers. And you become a whole new person. You're so much wiser. So much wiser. Confidence. Yeah, I think that's exactly what you need right now. You need a confidence boost. Especially after this happening to you. Don't feel guilty for treating yourself to something either. You want to go fucking shopping? Go shopping. You want to have that little sneaky drink? Have that sneaky drink. Do something for yourself today. Right, let's get these oracles read. So conf uh, confidence, which is what you need right now. There is one such immortal being who has kept this oracle safe in the castle of the Isle of Sky to be given to you when the time is right. This time is now. This is your time. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through life's challenges and receive my gifts. Know that I have chosen you and that you have everything you need to make the right decision. Walk with your head held high and take the next step towards your goal with confidence. Because this card is going to be with you every single step of the way. Every single step of the way. So the second card is Blessed. And this is speaking about, there are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by the divine. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know deep down you did not deserve any of it. And yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guard you. Now, you are going to be moving towards a deeper intimacy with somebody. Somebody who actually cares and nurtures you. But you've got to get rid of the trash. You've got to put the trash out because otherwise it lingers and you get flies and you get maggots and then you've got an infestation. This person is an infestation on your life. I'll leave that there, Cancer. Um, let me know if this resonates. 
like, share, subscribe, share the shit out with this video and keep your little kitchen witch happy by giving me a big thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon.